Matthew van Gerwen, Phil the Power Taylor returning to Euro Tour action after a two-year absence. Mensur Sulevic, Austria's number one, will get a rapturous reception here in Vienna, his home city. Benito van der Pass and Michael Smith, the other seeded players in action. And quite frankly, we could see... Come on, first leg is Jamie to throw first. Game on! We could see some very, very exceptional darts this evening and that's a great one to start off with from Jamie Caven 100 has to settle for a ton Tisno starts with a treble 20 as well One he gets a 140 first visit yeah we saw uh, seed safely through Alan Norris Stephen Bunting Terry Jenkins 100. Ian White and Kim Hybrex but Gerwin Price, Simon Whitlock and Robert Thorne and all tumbled in the afternoon session. Chizzy hoping to avoid a similar fate. Now, Chizzy has made the final of the last two European Tour events, beaten in the final in Gibraltar by Michael Van Gerwen. 140! And beaten in the final in Germany last time out by James Wade. 80! As you mentioned, we'll see Michael Van Gerwen. Jamie, you require 161. Halfway through this evening's session, he takes on Wales' as Johnny Clayton. 105. Yeah, no James Wade here this weekend. No Adrian Lewis either. 60. Anderson, another guy Jamie, you require 56. More guys involved in the... World Series, of course, as Caven looks at double tarp, and that's a 14 dart leg to start Jamie things Caven. off for Jamie Caven. Steve first. Game on. The winner of this one plays Stephen Bunting, who came through 6-3 against James Richardson this afternoon. 40. Ooh, look at this, Jamie Caven. Well, he's just picked 40. up where he left off in the first round against Justin Pipe. He won that one 6-1. He had an average of nearly 97 and a half. It was behind Steve West, the best performance of the first round, Jamie Caven. And Justin Pipe was complaining about a draft on stage in the early stages of that match. Said it was like playing on a boat, not playing in a hurricane. It's not Jamie Caven firing nine a, ton five. nine a ton average. And it's not out of sync with Jamie Caven's recent form line either. Caven got to the final of a Proto event just three weeks ago, beating Dave Chisnell in the semi final there. Dave Rukar, 116. The day after, Chisnell beat Caven. 60. Yeah, and it was at this tournament a couple of years ago that prior to that final that you just mentioned, that was Jamie Gavin's last appearance in a final. Actually one leg away from the title. Here at the Austrian darts open, but Vincent van der Voort Dave came from 5-2 down to win it. Chizzy looking at 56. Gavin took it out in two darts in leg one. Chizzy He's takes it out in two darts leg. in leg two for a 14 darter. Like Responding in kind, and it's one apiece. Fifty-seven. Now, two recent meetings for these two, but if you just dig through the various times they've gone up against each other in the archives, 97. there are some belters and some high-profile games as well. Met a couple of times at the match play. Both of those went Dave Chisnell's way, but 13-11 and 13-10. Jamie Caven beat him at the European Championship 6-0. They seem to bring out the best in each other, and Chizzy fires Yay! in the first maximum of the evening Yay! session. And with Dave Chisnell, you expect he's going to follow it with more. And you might expect that Dave Chisnell would uh, lead that head-to-head, -head, but it's not so. Jamie Caven won nine of the 16 meetings that we could find anyway. Yeah, curious that, isn't it? 16. Chizzy, a four-time major finalist. Jamie Caven yet to make a major semi-final. Six finals on the European Tour for Dave. One hundred. Dave Lucar, one hundred and sixty-four. So he's partial to a good run in these events. Now one six four. Won't be done. Seventy-nine. Just a missed opportunity Jamie Rucar, there. Could have been a little bit easier. 
for him if he returns to the board, and he will return to the board. Cavens just strayed into the treble five when he needed two treble twenties for a go at double twelve. Fifty-four. David require eighty-five. Cavens' good mate Ian White made it through to the last day of action earlier on this afternoon, beating Simon Stevenson. Chizzy. Bullseye once. Breaker throw. Eighty-five checkout. Fifteen darts, and Chizzy goes into the lead. Game on. Yeah, lovely finish from Chesnell there, using the bullseye, last dart in hand. One out of follows it strongly with a 140 to start the next leg. Yeah, Chizzy started the year by making his fourth major 45. final, made the final of the Masters, played really, really well. Pushed Michael Van Gerwen in the final, but was beaten by him. Then he, he really struggled for a couple of months and his Premier League campaign was nowhere near as good as it was the previous year and he said he wasn't happy about how he was playing and you know you could see there were problems with his throw. He has got 90. that much discussed snatch that you know manifests itself when he's not playing his best. But the last couple of months things have really turned around. It, it, it's since he stopped playing Premier 41. League. 41. As soon as he was eliminated on judgment night, things started looking up. Made a couple of European Tour finals. In fact, if you look at the last nine tournaments 16. he's been involved in, he's gone quarter-final, semi-final, last 32 with a nine data. Semi-final, final, final, semi-final, quarter-final, semi-final. Not bad, Chiz. Not bad at all as he hits the ton 40 to leave tops and a potential 13 data coming in for a 3-1 lead. Yeah, maybe... Uh Blessing in disguise, his exit from the Premier League, rested and refreshed. And 3-1 up in this match against play. Jamie Kevin. Jamie Chisel, the flag is Jamie the first, game on. Yeah, he's got a busy darting calendar, Dave Chisel, as one of the uh, sports elite players. He's um, part of the chosen team 47. to go and spread the joy around the globe mm. in the World Series events. Global Ambassador Dave Chisnell. 96. Heading off straight after this to Auckland for the World Series there. The Auckland Arts Masters. Adrian Lewis, the defending champion there, as Caven looks to fill it up and does so. That's Caven's first maximum of the night. See the averages there. Chizzy. Nine points clear overall and outscoring his opponent. Chizzy does tend to outscore most people he goes up against. 14, 14, 15, 15. Tidy, tidy stuff. 16. Indeed. Important leg for Jamie Cave in this. But he's in control at the moment. Another treble would apply the pressure. 134. So Cave needs to make a dent in this 214. 100. Is it a big enough dent? We're about to find out. 131, Jamie Rupert, 114. Himself tops after four visits. Needs to find the treble 18, gets it now, double top. 94, Dave Rupert, 14. David misses out. Chisnell looking to punish for yet another leg, a fifth leg in a row that's been completed in five visits to the Game board. The fifth there it is, Dave Chisnell. Daughter. Second Six break of throw, Dave Chisnell first. firmly Game in on. charge of this one and playing lovely stuff. The average just nudges above 100 as well for Dave Chisnell. So we sat and looked at this evening's fixtures as Chisnell threatens another max. 140. We, um, we fancied this to be one of the most fiercely contested battles. At the moment, Chisnell's running away with it. Mm, he is, to be fair, every time I've suggested that we're going to be in for a, a real close, exciting, high-quality game, every single time this weekend, one player has run away with it. Should learn me lesson, really, but... <laughs> 140. And he's not letting up, Dave Chisnell. Back to back ton 40s. Even shake of the head. He like it. Where was this earlier? He says to himself. Second maximum for Jamie Caven. Chisnell looking to respond by doing the same. 121. Oh, not actually the worst one in the world. Yeah, it still leaves him a two data, doesn't it? And the average now creeps up to 105. 
Best average we've seen so David far was Steve West last night. Yeah, the only player to top a ton. Need the treble 19 for double 19. Kaven, 29. It's a chance. Jamie, you require it's a tough one. But it looks good when it happens. It looks great when it happens. If he can find the treble 19, that is a perfect guy for the bullseye. Oh. 86. David Lucroix, 71. It did look very inviting. But if your name's not on the list, you're not coming in. 39. Jamie Lucroix, 46. But he's going to have a second chance. And a rather easier one. A decent marker again. 26. Again. The next start doesn't find the Game target, and Chisnell 32. could move within a leg of victory. Yeah, I think Coleman just expected that to go in. And Chisnell has pinned leg. it last Jay start. Chisnell. He is one Seven leg away from a place in the last 16, and Jamie Coleman uh, missed darts in that leg. It may be that his slim chance of mounting a comeback has just slipped away from him there. Yeah, Chisnell now looking to close it out in this leg and opens to a maximum. Sharp shooting from Chizzy. The Caven now staring down the barrel of defeat. Come on, Chiz, follow it up. Follow it up, man. Follow it up. Oh, Dave Chisnell. Five perfect darts. One hundred and thirty-four. Well, if he plays like this all tournament, nothing to suggest that he won't be making a third straight European Tour final. Well, the last two European Tour events, he's Jamie averaged 100 140. every single game, pretty much. A well, one forty here. Kevin's looking at him with the top top. We saw Robert Fordham do it earlier on. But Chesno wants forty-seven for the match. Fifteen double sixteen. You would think. No, seven double top. Dave Chisnell for an 11 data to close it out 6 1, down for double 10. Oh, 37. He it by a distance. Jamie Rukar, 20. So Caven to take it to an eighth leg. Game shot on the seventh and leg. There it is. Jamie Caven. 13 data. Eighth leg is very taken to the first. Tidy darts. There's only been that one leg where they both missed a series of doubles. Otherwise, it had just been 15, 14, 13, 15. It was, you know, it's been superb this game. 60. Yeah, strong start to this evening session. And plenty of tungsten talent to follow. 97. Well, we saw the very first game of the day, Roby John Rodriguez, Austria's number two player, knocked out by Alan Norris. Pretty convincing in the end, it was 6-1. Now the Austrians do have two further hopes. Seeing one of their guys through to the final day of action. One of those is Mensor Solivich, Austria's number one. Seeded player. He's in action later on. Third last game. As he takes on Kyle Anderson. But the other one is coming up next. Zoran Lurchbacker. Host Nation qualifier taking on former Lakeside champion Yella Klaas. 100. Tough ask for Zoran that. The hyper came. And it's a tough ask for Jamie Caven because, oh well. A little bit of fortune. 80. A little bit of fortune, and that might might just open the door for Caven if he can find at least one treble. Got to find one, you'd think. Fifty-six. David Power, one hundred and fifteen. So Chisnell wants one hundred and fifteen to move into the last sixteen. Of the Austrian darts open, and now he wants double top. 75. Jamie, you require 167. Outside chance for Kevin to stay alive. Not going to happen. Not this visit at any rate. He's relying on Chisholm missing more match darts. Dave, you require 40. Double top for 6-2. Dave Chisholm has been very impressive tonight. <laughs> That's not impressive at all. Double 19. Oh, why not with a double-double to round it off, Dave Chisnell. Well, it just ranks his average under 100, but still a very impressive display from Chizzy. He is safely through to the last 16. He will take on Stephen Bunting in an all St. Helens clash.
clash of two big, big names in the world of darts fighting out for a place in the quarterfinals. The action continues here in Vienna. We've got seven more games tonight. And Zoran Lurchback is about to take to the stage to carry the hopes of this Austrian crowd as he faces Jalla Klaas.